Hi YouTubies, how are you? It's Marie here. So it has been a while since I've been on, so I thought I'd do a haul video, and this has been stuff that I've gotten for the last week or so. Um, and I got something really cool today, which I'm really excited about. So I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I got, and I got a couple of handbags, and I also got a lot of other things too. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I got a nightlight, and it already got the little lamp in here, um, but I can always put replacement, right? So anyway, I got this. This was two bucks. I like having a nightlight, and um, uh, yeah, and I could just put it somewhere and just, you know, use it. All right, the next thing I got was another light. Um, it needs, it uses batteries, so I got to get batteries for it. Um, and it's one of those that you can just tap on and, yeah. I think I have another one somewhere else. So these come in handy because we're supposed to have a storm coming in th tomorrow. And it's supposed to be like really windy and stuff. So I don't know how all that's going to go. Sometimes we lose our light. Sometimes we don't. So, yeah. Okay. So the next thing I got, forgive me as I move down here and get this stuff, okay? I've got everything all, all over the place. I bought me a hat. And um, I know it's March, but we still have April. And we can still have very cold weather. It's crazy. So even if it's just cool, I can just use this. And one of the reasons I got this, well, yeah, maybe yes or no, is that if you followed me, you know that my cat Loomis... Um, who passed away. Um, he liked taking my Michael Kor charms that were the little fists. So I cleaned this up and brushed it out. And I thought what I would do is stick that on here. And then that would like kind of remind me of Loomis when I wore it. Um, <laughs> he always was good at destroying my things. Anyway, the other thing I got was this little coin purse. It's by World Market, and I paid two bucks for it. I love the detail on it. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, so it was brand new. It's clean. So I, I went ahead and picked this up because I never have enough of these. These are great to have. All right. The next thing I got, and... Um, this will come in really handy. Uh, I have another DVD player, but the sound on it was going bad. So I found another one, and this is, it does work. Um, let's see if I can turn it on. Yeah, there you go. It does work. And I went ahead and um, played a, um, a DVD in it, and the movie came on. So yeah, it does, it does work. And I do have the plug for it. So uh, when I bought this, the woman was like, how are you going to use it? You don't have a plug for it. And I'm like, oh, I have another one at home. And if I didn't, I can always order one off of Amazon because Amazon does sell stuff like that. So as long as you have a model number, you can find the plugs for any of those things if you ever want to know that, okay? All right. I'm going to go down here and get some more stuff. All right, the, la the next thing I got, and this is brand new. It was in the bag. Here's the bag. And here's the little silicone pouch. I got me a Vera Bradley, and I really like these because if I'm going out and yard sailing or something, I can throw everything in here. Unfortunately for this year, they've already said a couple places are going to be, are not going to have their yearly yard sales, which is kind of a bummer for me. Anyway... This is all brand new. It's a collegiate from the collegiate collection. And this retails for $78, but I only paid five. And I can always put a patch or something over here if I don't want to show that. But it has the two um, pockets here. It has a pocket here. And it has a pocket in the back. And it's got an adjustable strap. So I thought that was pretty cool. And what I really like about these things is that you can throw them in the wash and dry them. And over time, they start to, they start to soften up a bit. And they're very, very comfortable. Okay, let me see. What else do I have? All right, story time. All right, so the, this morning, I was having a cup of coffee. And I had gotten this cup 
coffee cup like last week and I had my coffee was going to go ahead and drink it and now this part here is very very heavy and this was light so when I picked it up it went like this and I got coffee all over me hot coffee and it and I had my pajamas on ruined my pajamas and it landed a lot of the drink landed on my leg and and then it went down and all over the floor I basically got like a first degree burn so I had to put some ointment on I mean if you ever had a burn it really hurts so um, I cleaned myself up and everything and I went ahead and remade another cup so when I was at the thrift store today I went ahead and got one of these services because these things do keep your drink hot so I thought what I do is is get one of these put my coffee in here and then just drink it out of here um, this one has a patch in it and it's from Washington University in St. Louis um, the older turbuses have the patches inside and these were made in the United States so yeah I always find these a lot at Goodwill um, so I thought I'd start using that for my coffee cup and maybe this I'll probably put pens or pencils or something in I'll use that for my art stuff okay I bought a couple of books I found this one um, I know a lot of people collect these um, if anyone's interested let me know um, okay apparently whoever these were really good readers um, I don't remember I never had these growing up um, and the next book I got was the Catechism of the Catholic Church if anyone is interested in this let me know it's always good to know your faith this is like one of the better catechism it was put out by Saint uh, Pope Paul Pope John Paul II he redid or revised the um, catechism okay let me see all right I think I got everything I think I think I think I think I think I did I have one more thing oh I got some battery operated lights too these come in handy when the lights go out they do so I got that those are wonderful to have okay let me show you the one thing I got that I was so excited about all right are you ready I went to the Goodwill today like I told you and I wasn't looking for a handbag I didn't really need a handbag um, and if you knew if you know me you know I've been looking for a green handbag okay a green handbag well I got lucky today I found a green handbag and well let me tell you the story I was walking through and they had put out some handbags and they had a beautiful um, Banana Republic it was gorgeous it was an orange bag it was a dome bag it looked like those you know those Louis Vuitton dome bags you know or Junie and Burke beautiful had the double zippers and everything but the sides were all messed up you know the the piping they were starting to fall apart the rest of the bag was beautiful I passed it up then I went around and I found a blue electric blue um, Kohan bag and it looked like one of those like Ralph Lauren um, like the um, I want to say like a Birkin style bag beautiful bag but I wasn't really crazy about the lining the lining wasn't as nice as I would like it to be I almost got it so I picked it up and I was carrying it around it's a beautiful bag I don't think anybody used it turn around and I find you know me it's all wrapped up hidden or, you know it's scrunched up because all of the bags are hanging up they have all the bags hanging up this green bag all scrunched up it happened to be a designer bag and I thought for a moment I picked it up I looked it over I'm like it's not what I think it is and it is I had to tell myself do I want to go through the time and effort to clean it up because it was dirty it needed work on the leather it needed work on the inside because the bottom and the sides were dirty so I thought for a moment and I said you know what I know I'm never gonna find a bag like this again so I got it I brought it home I cleaned it up and I'm gonna tell you it was a real bitch to clean up the inside of it was a mess if you have a bag and it's dirty use this 
this will clean it up. You spray it, let it set for a while, take a damp rag and wipe it all down. If you can pull it out, even better, okay? And I may maybe do a video on that, how I do that. Um, that stuff will work. If it has pen marks, take a little bit of alcohol on a, on an ear, you know, ear swab, rub it in there gently, it'll, it'll lift off the, um, the ink. But don't do it on leather. It's only on fabric, okay? All right. So, you ready to see the bag? All right, here it is. This is it. This is the Michael Kors Hamilton Traveler's Bag. And it is in a color called Gooseberry. But to me, it's green, but I guess gooseberries are green. Um, anyway, this is... This bag was really, really filthy. <laughs> it really was. If you want me to do a more detailed thing on this bag, I will be happy to do that, okay? But I'm not gonna do it now because this, this is just a haul video. But if you wanna see a detail, more detail on this, let me know, I will be happy to do it. Anyway, I picked up this bag. It was a mess. Um, it does have, is, it's, okay, let me get something, let me explain something. The bag itself is not messed up, but over time, some of the color may fade off, okay? That doesn't mean it's damaged to the leather. It just means that some of the paint or the dye has come off. Um, the glazing on this bag is in perfect condition. There's no damage to it, okay? But right here you can see, and it's really because of age, okay? You can tell this bag is, is a little older. It hasn't been kept up very well. There is a, there is a crease right here and I stuffed it. Um, this, I got this came, this came with it. Usually when I find a Michael Kors bag, the handles are the ones, things that are really damaged, especially on the Hamilton. I have seen so many Michael Kors bags that are the Hamiltons. And I saw one the other day, it was a black one. And these, get tore up. I don't know what people do to their bags, but the, the handles are usually what's tore up. And they're usually tore up right here. These are in good condition. Okay. Um, the bag itself is in good condition. And the person probably just got it and just threw it wherever and just decided to throw it out and donate it. So I cleaned it up. I put some leather lotion on it and the color on this bag just came right back after I cleaned it up. I wish you could feel the leather on this. It feels so nice. Anyway, see, there's no damage. It's just like, it's just losing some color. But the glazing on it and the leather itself is in beautiful condition. So, um, yeah, and it has the lock. It has the key. And it even has the strap. Um, I didn't pay that much for it. When I took it up to the counter, the guy, the guy was like, the first thing... Oh, it's a boutique. No, 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 no. I found it with the rest of your bags. And I showed them, you know, the inside. They had the tag and everything in it. I said, no, this is what's one of your bags. I found my Givenchy, my um, Rebecca Minkoff, and my coach. Remember those? In my other videos, I paid only 10 bucks or whatever. Okay? I bought this bag. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's green. I wanted a green bag. I was never expecting to get a Michael Kors because I do see them go through. And a lot of times they are in the nice condition. But a lot of times they're in the boutique section and they're like 30, 30, they're like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Sometimes some of them can go up to 70 bucks. And they've got a couple of coats right now. And there's one coach that's fake. But I'm not going to say anything because I know if I do, I'll get in trouble. So, anyway, I found this, and this gorgeous, and I stuffed it, I cleaned it, and if you want me to do a, a, a review on it, let me know, and I will be happy to do that. But right now, this is just a haul video. I just, I'm just so excited that I found that bag. I really am. I don't need another bag, because I found my green bag. So, there you go. And one thing I'm kicking myself for, I saw a beautiful Neiman Marcus wallet and I I guess in my excitement I laid it down because I was like and I walked you know I paid for this and, and walked out and I'm like 
later on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot that nice wallet. If it's there tomorrow, I'm going to get it and I'm going to show it to you. It was so pretty. Um, it was Sapiano leather. It was a beautiful little wallet and probably somebody will have picked it up. Anyway, that is my haul. And another thing I want to tell you, I want to thank all of you who left me comments and for support because losing a pet is, it, it, for me, it was really traumatic. Uh, after everything else that happened and then having to lose the animal, it, it really hurt me. I'm starting to get myself together and move on. You know, it, it was just, you know, but he meant so much. And things will happen, and I'll remember him. Like the other day, I was, I was going to go out. I had some errands I needed to run, and out of habit, when I would leave Loomis, I would turn the radio on so he wouldn't, you know, it, he would have some sound so he would know. And I, it struck me. I'm just like, wait a minute, he's not here. And there'll be those little things that I do that remind me of Loomis, and then I'll remember that he's not here. I'll turn on the TV, you know, if I'm going to go somewhere or something so he can watch TV, and then I realize he's not here, you know. And many of you, you know what I'm talking about, going through and losing an animal, especially during this time, and it's really hard. Some of you have suggested going to a shelter, but the only way you can do that is online, and then you've got to fill out a form, and you've got to pay by um, credit card. I can wait, unless I find a stray or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I want to thank you all for that support. It meant a lot to me, okay? So anyway, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And I will talk to you again. And remember, if you want a review or whatever on that handbag, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.